And look at this hey one. Hey, y'all, it's Taylor Swift here. Due to a packaging error, uh-huh. you can't sell 3,000 of so, sets. Taylor so Swift here. My loyal fans for free. All right, here we are in late December 2023, and these... La Crusette ads are still going around. I just looked up the pronunciation video, so I did say that correctly. It's not La Crusette. It's not La Crusette. It's apparently La and then Crusette. And then some people say you should or shouldn't pronounce the T. The T was pronounced by the guy with the accent doing the official video for the company. So that's why I'm going to say it. So this cookware brand, I'm going to say it that way. Check this out here. Look at all the ads that are running here in late December, 2023 scam ads that claim that various celebrities are offering giveaways of La Crusette cookware sets or whatever. And, and you can see these here. These have been here for a long time. And Meta, the parent company of Facebook and Instagram, continues to help the scammers' scams thrive. Meta is accepting money from scammers or from someone to allow these scams to be out there. These scams promise upfront that celebrities have endorsed them and are giving away different cookware sets because of a packaging issue or something like Gordon Ramsay, Chip and Joanna Gaines, Reed Drummond, Taylor Swift, whoever, I think Jennifer Garner, Garth Brooks, Trisha Yearwood, you know, all these different people that you're about to see here. And they, they claim all you need to do is pay shipping, you know, $9.95, $9.96, whatever. They're hidden subscription scams. And that what I mean by that is that you are going to be charged a whole lot more money on a monthly basis for something that you did not know you were going to be paying for. And that's the scam. The people running these scams will probably claim they have nothing to do with these ads and that they only have something to do with the very, very end step, which is where you make your purchase. But in that step, they hide in the terms and conditions the fact that you are going to be paying subscription fees for a best consumer gadgets club or a health app that no one's ever heard of, really just a bunch of of, of BS that no one wants. And the goal of this is not to provide anyone with a giveaway entry, a sweepstakes entry, like they're going to claim here. The goal is to get your money. And that's what the scammers, the people at the end of this process know is true. And I get the feeling these people are in the US too. Now, some of this might be coming from outside the US, but I get the feeling, you know, the way some of these different scammers hide behind PO boxes at stores that are kind of like mailboxes, et cetera, you know, that's sort of a place where they have just a little box in there, but you don't know who they are. That's what's going on with this. That's that's my guess. Check this one out here. Howdy, I all. It's Joanna Gaines. And let's restart this video. She says, howdy, I all. It's an AI audio video. Howdy, I all. It's Joanna Gaines. It's an AI audio. seeing this ad, we are joyful to tell you that due to packaging errors, we can no longer ship these 12 piece. Brand new the Crozet. Cookware sets to retailers for the holidays. So we uh-huh. decided to give them away. So there's that one. Hey y'all, it's Joanne and Chip Gaines here. You're seeing this ad. We are excited to tell you that. Okay. And there's this one here. Hello everyone. I'm thrilled to announce that due to packaging errors, we are not able to put these state of the art cookware sets on the shelves. Uh huh. Okay. It's another Gordon Ramsay one there. And Hello then, everyone. I'm excited to announce a once in- You see all these Hello ads? Everyone. I'm excited. All these are individual iterations of ads that have multiple ads behind them. So there are tons of these ads. I think it said more than 500 iterations, meaning there could be thousands of these running right now on Facebook and Instagram. Meta is accepting money for these scams to thrive. And they're probably doing it because they know that no one can ever stop them because, you know, who's going to stop Meta? Who's going to stop them? Who's, who's going to get them to start checking ads properly before they start running? No one. Congress, the FTC, what are you, you going to call your local police department? They're too big. Meta is too big. And they're going to keep accepting money for ads because they're going to claim that, that, you know, well, if there was a process where it took a while to start running ads, more more of their advertisers might not go for that because they want the instantaneous possibility of start running ads or whatever. But I, I don't believe that. I believe that they know that if they allow their ad platform to be opened up to anyone. Hey, y'all. There's another one. To anyone at any time to start running ads basically immediately. You know, they do automatic detection, Meta does, and some manually reviewed ads as well, but they don't properly check ads before they go out. Why? Because the door is wide open for money to come in. And if they start putting up different barriers to entry for people advertising, they're gonna make less money, right? That's that's the obvious thing going on here in investors. Oh, we don't wanna we, we don't wanna make the investors mad because it's most important to make sure that they get more money, more money, more money. And who cares about the user base of Meta? Facebook, Instagram, and and Messenger and Audience Network, you know, they don't matter as much as the investors. You know, if they get scammed, who cares? As long as the investors are happy. That's the attitude 
based on the policies that Meta pushes. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. And, and look at this hey, one. Hey y'all, it's Taylor Swift here. If you do a packaging error, uh -huh. you can't sell 3,000 of those so, sets. Taylor so Swift here. My loyal fans for free. If you're seeing. And and it's it's all fake. Hey y'all, it's Taylor Swift here. Taylor Swift. Hey y'all, it's Trisha Lynn Yearwood here. Due to a packaging error, we can't sell 3,000 Lee Crusade cookware sets. So I'm giving them a. Look, look at all this. Hey y'all, it's Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift again. These are all ads, paid ads. Hey y'all, it's Taylor. Hi everyone, it's Jennifer Garner. I'm so excited to announce that Le Creuset and I have teamed up. To I mean, over and house. over and over again. So many of these ads. Hi everyone. Jennifer Garner. Hey it's Trisha Yearwood here. And I am happy to tell you that due let to me, a packaging error. We let me tell you this. This is just one kind of scam ad being hosted, paid ad being hosted by Meta. There are so many different scams being hosted in paid advertising and Meta is rolling in the dough knowing that they can keep accepting money from scammers for scams and that they'll tell you, well, we're very tough on scams. Here's a page we published about how tough we are on Meta Newsroom or whatever, or, or we have a report button. You can report ads. Well, that's not the user's job to report you know, activity like that. You're accepting money from scammers, Meta. It's your job to take these things down before they reach your user base, but you're not going to invest in that despite billions of dollars in quarterly revenue, are you? And the reason why you aren't going to do that is because you want the money to keep coming in so you can keep reporting, you know, great financial results to your investors. Everyone knows that's true. Hey, everyone, Gordon Ramsay here, and I've got something really- That is not Gordon Ramsay's voice. Here. We're starting 2024 with a bang at Hexclad. Uh-huh. I think Gordon Ramsay does have some sort of partnership with Hexclad, but these are fake giveaways. Hey, everyone. Oh. Hey, everyone. Oh, man. Hello, everyone. I mean, over and over. Hello, Look at all these ads. Hello, everyone. And I, I've only scratched the surface. I'm excited to announce a once in lifetime. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. I mean, over and do hey, I. y'all, it's Reed Drummond here, and I'm here to. Oops. To tell you that due to a packaging error with Le Creuset, there are pallets full of perfectly good cookware that can no longer be shipped. To it's Reed Drummond from the Food Network. And so, you know, hey, there's so many. Do I really need to keep going through these? I mean. Hey, y'all. It's. Hey y'all, it's Redrumming hey here. Redrumming. Ah, doubling up. Hey y'all. 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 I mean, I think this is annoying for you. It's annoying for me. I keep seeing these ads all year. Hey y'all. I mean, do I need? I mean, is there, are there others here? By the way, so many of these are active. You see the little active right there with a check mark? They're active. Meta is not taking these down. They are rolling in the dough from these ads. Celebrity chef Gordon Ramsay has announced uh, he's giving away hex-clad cookware sets due to a packaging error. Completely fake what he had to say Fox News video. report. This is Fox News has nothing to do with this. Geraldo Rivera. Okay, it's cool. Now I'm very excited to announce a new... I mean... Let me show you where these go. So I've showed you plenty of these. There's so many more. This is just scratching the surface of what's out there. All right, so here's where some of these links load. Like for the one for Jennifer Garner, for instance, it claims to be Food Network, but it's not the Food Network website. You click a link in here. It claims it's going to go to lacrosette.com. Instead, it goes to prizequestcentral.com, one of many scam websites. And you, you know, they want you to fill out your information right here. They don't want you to keep going down. If you keep going down, you're going to find the whole catch. First off, contact us information right there if you need it. And then terms and conditions. So at the very end of the terms and conditions here, the last part, membership fees, $179.84. You'll gain admittance to our top-notch content. Who cares? Which incorporates usage of healthy meal plans application. What does that mean? Usage of healthy meal plans application? Do they mean to say that you get access to an app or a month-to-month -month membership to a healthy meal plans, a healthy meal plans? These scams are so terrible. And they take so much money from people. And imagine you're you're an elderly person, you see this, and you want to get a new cookware set, and you're charged $179.84, and your credit card company can't help you. What are you supposed to do? You're someone who, do, who doesn't have a whole lot of money, and you don't have anyone to really help you. I'm doing whatever I can to help with these videos. And look at all the money Meta, Meta is probably, I mean, I, who knows how much money they're making from just these scams, if not all the other scams I always cover, thousands of scams. I'm not talking about normal Facebook posts that you can make, paid ads. Meta is accepting money in exchange for allowing scams to run on their platforms, undoubtedly. And it's not getting any coverage because it's not like big news or political or anything like that. And, and people aren't really gonna read about that. Hey, here's a scam. 
but it's affecting people in such a much like you see stuff on the news. It doesn't really affect you, right? It's like, oh, here's what's happening in your town. Here's the weather. Here's sports. Oh, there's a crime and the news is over. None of that had any effect on you. But these sorts of scams have a huge effect on people and they don't receive enough coverage. You see general reports on the news about watch out for this scam or things like that. But th those aren't enough. People need to start documenting what's going on and how the platforms like Meta, Facebook and Instagram are are profiting from these scams and how no one's doing anything about it. No one cares. The FTC, you know, the the other governmental organizations, Congress, when are they going to do anything about this? Probably never. I saw the same holiday scams around Christmas and Thanksgiving this year that I did last year. No, nothing changed. And why did nothing change? Because they made a whole lot of money last year, probably, and they didn't want to change that. Because again, the investors, we have to please the investors at Meta. That's most important. The user base, if they get scammed, well, you know... Oh, well, sorry. That, that's, that's the attitude. And, and before, you know, until Meta decides to invest in, in, you know, some of the billions of dollars or quarterly revenue they make in a way of properly, incredibly checking ads before they start getting displayed on their platforms, nothing will change. And do we really think that's going to happen? No. So it's up to all of us, apparently, to, to be vigilant and to not fall for scams because these platforms like Meta, and, and the, all the platforms under Meta, like Facebook, Instagram, whatever else, Messenger, do not have your best interest at heart at all. They have their investors' best interest at heart. Hit the like button down below, the thumbs up button. To the right of the like button, you'll see like, dislike, share, download, and to the right of that, you'll see three dots. Tap the three dots. If you want to tap the thanks button in there to thank me, that would be amazing. And, you know, Share this with friends. Share this with family. This is the kind of stuff happening out there that is not getting any coverage and that is is hurting people in a very real way. And like I said, these scams for cookware sets are a tiny, tiny, tiny percentage of all the other scams out there in paid advertising being hosted by Meta as Meta Profits. There's so many of these scams. Watch out for them. And shame on Meta for not doing more because they know they have seen these ads. I guarantee you they have people who who have seen these because they take down some of them sometimes, but they don't put in place different systems to block future ads that use the same verbiage, same links. And, and it's just very unfortunate to say the very least. Thank you for watching.